What's going on, friends? Uh, we are back for another review. And we are doing another starter kit review slash MTL review on the Vaptio. What's this, going on, uh, friends? Ah, uh, shush. Stop uh, yelling at me. We are back. I'm yelling at myself. This is the Vaptio Spin It kit. And you know what? Something really cool that happens with this thing. There it is. You ready? You ready? Oh, 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 there it goes. What, what just happened? What just happened? Fat man fan, off with you. Let's stick around, grab a beer, grab, well, maybe not a beer, grab a vape and uh, I, I, uh, apple juice, grab an apple juice, grab a vape. And uh, hang out with me because you know what, we're doing this again. I've calmed down from the last one. The the orca really got me worked up. I splashed some cold water on my face. I went and uh, grabbed the wife's took us. Everything made I feel better now. Everything's calmed down. We're all good. So uh, stick around. My name's Stan, and you have found the Tenacious TX Vapes channel. We're live, and uh, there's bloopers. Hell yeah, this is how we do it. time here we are what's going on mn is back in the house yeti's uncle is here anthony is here stan never thank you for the yup and the coils oh bro no problem no problem fapin vegan says woohoo i never get to catch one of these uh frank freaking wolf is in the house again king tot hi dad hi buddy uh phil lee i wish some of this kind of stuff had been around instead of the ce4 that i started on right on bro right They've got it good now. They don't even know. Subaru Nerd Vape says, what up, y'all? Uh, Dave Zaytek, back again with a live. I'm stoked. Right on, right on. you just like laughing at me because uh, I'm terrible at this. But it's fun, so this is how we do it. This is the Vaptio, and this is in the mocha color. It's basically a single little built-in battery mod with a mouth-to-lung uh, pod system. Okay, it's a refillable pot system. I the drip tip doesn't come out, but I'm gonna just throw down, go down. I'm going to go down up close again, and we're gonna talk about the Vaptio spin it. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of it, even though there's not a whole lot. Anthony says, ten dollar. Thank you for the ten dollar donation. He says, yeah, thanks, man. No problem, bro. Absolutely not a problem. So let's dive down. Let's take a look at this thing up close. What do y'all say? Y'all say cool? I say cool. Let's do it. I just like to point out how, how quiet this thing is. Listen. Yeah, here we go. The Vaptio Spin It, Spin it Kit is here and uh basically let me move the microphone here here we go it says this product contains nicotine which is a highly addictive substance it should say when e-liquid is introduced to the system all right there's no nicotine in this packaging however that is you know fda better great wait better gear better taste vaptio spin it starter kit there's the spin it right there you can see how big the dang thing is and uh Man, I need to stop doing that. There we go, right there. On this side, it says Spin It Starter Kit. On this side, it shows the colors. It's got black, red, mocha, which is the one I'm using, navy blue, royal purple, and turquoise. And I got to show you guys this. I'll show you guys this color in a few minutes. This color is dope. And then on the back, it says Spin It 
built-in 650 mAh battery. Not a huge battery, but honestly, I've had no issues with battery life with this thing. Two spinet tank, one piece pre-installed, one user manual, and one USB cable. Not for sale to minors, women who are pregnant or breastfeeding persons with or at risk heart disease, at risk of heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, or taking medicine of depression or asthma. Um, designed by Vaptio Incorporated, a U.S. company assembled by First Union in China. Interesting. I didn't know that. All right. There's their address, phone number, and then some business over here. All right. So let's open this up. First thing you see is a very, very large booklet, pamphlet thing. And it's got pictures. And it's got stuff and warranty and things. And it's got more pictures. Actually, this is pretty cool. I like this a lot. And then it says, don't wash your coils. Don't wash your coils. These are disposable coils. Okay? Don't use water. Shows you how to use it. Shows you that you can pass through. And it does the same thing in multiple languages. So that's the booklet. You've got your certificate of inspection. This one was made in March, April. April 12th, 2018. It passed inspection. It's also the warranty card. Vaptio. Get rid of that junk. And here's the black one. We're going to take a look at the black one because black is just sexy. It's huge. I mean, it's huge. It's not massive but it is a large device here is the dreamer stack next to it and here is a sharpie marker next to it it's the same size as a sharpie marker so if you have a sharpie marker around you can kind of see the length of this thing so the way this thing works well let's go through the rest of the box first underneath the box you get an extra coil nice and packaged up and you also get a USB charging cable. There's no need to update any firmware or anything like that. This is a simple push and fire device. Okay. So here's the thingy bobber. Basically, the way this works is it's five clicks on. One, two, three, four, five. And then the light flashes. One, two, three, four, five. And then it flashes to go off. Okay. I'm not going to fire it because I'll burn the coil. To make this work, actually, no, you won't burn the coil. And I'll show you why. So when you fire it. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Because these are the contacts. This is the pod system. How cool is that? So it doesn't matter if you leave it on or off. It's not going to fire the coil. So basically how this works is you got a little window here and a little window here. You just grab like this and pull. See that? Flip and push. And those two contacts I just showed you, now the coil will fire. Okay, it's got a drip tip that does not come out. It is not removable. So if you need to change the pod, you just, or put it in your pocket or whatever, that's it. Very, very cool. There's a couple of grips right here. You just grab the grips like that, and out comes the pod. You can see the pod system right there. And there's your contacts. There's the air, airflow. And you take this, pull it open, and you can fill it up right there with a needle tip. Also, I don't know if a glass dripper, I haven't tried this, but let me clean it off so I can, I don't screw this pod up real quick. Let me clean this off here. I think maybe this will fit. Yep, a glass dripper bottle will fit inside glass dripper will fit inside of it so you don't have to worry about that you can pretty much fill this up with anything except for a big sriracha bottle if you still have any of those but they shouldn't be around anymore because uh, it's like kind of against the fda i think but anyway so you plug it back up after you fill it just like that you pop it in it doesn't matter which way you pop it in you can pop it in either direction you flip it turn it on and vape it that's it when you want to be done you just flip it back over Stick it in your pocket and go. Pretty, pretty cool. Let me fill up mine. Take this out. It's got juice in it, but what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to open this one up. 
because this coil is pretty much done. I mean, I've vaped the crap out of it. I'm going to use some Hometown Hero Angel's Breath. This is like my favorite mouth to lung juice. Seriously, I love this stuff. Absolutely love this stuff. This is a 20 milligram. This is a nice, nice mouth to lung. You just fill it up like that. Leave a little bubble like I did and close it up. Wipe it off if you need to. Plug it back in, flip it over, and turn it on. Can't even hear it. Oh, it was already on. Sorry. Just like that. So let's jump back out, and we'll talk about it a little bit. Back up at FaceTime. This is a very, very simple device. Let's see here. Is there any questions in there? Uh, Black Cat, good bro. Okay, people are just chatting along. That's cool. Um, comes in many colors. It does come in many colors. In fact, before I get to talking about the vape on it and everything, let's take a look at the website here. And I will show you guys. Bam. So... The specifications here, it's 133 millimeters long by 18 by 22 millimeters wide and thick. All right. The e-liquid capacity is 1.8 milliliters. So this is TPD compliant. Um, 650 ma built-in battery, 15 watts of power, which is plenty. 1.2 uh, ohm resistance and 5 volt charging. It's a Japanese organic cotton wick. And then there's the fill that I just showed you guys up close. Silly, silly simple. And we talked about what the kit includes and everything already. Also, there is, what's the charging here? Though we already talked about that. Pocketable. Okay, the reason they designed this, they say, is for, here we go, hygiene. A hygienic vaping experience. So basically, you can't get lint and all that business in in the drip tip whenever it's in your pocket or whatever. Check out these colors, bro. You got black. You got mocha, which is the one I'm using currently. I love this turquoise. The purple is dope. The blue looks great. The red looks great. All these colors. I love these colors. I think it's fantastic. So if you're a new vapor and you're looking for something you know that looks cool as well as is easy and pocketable, I have a feeling that this is the one for you guys. Um, this goes for about 30, 35 bucks online anywhere. You can get it in range. Obviously there's different ranges and things. You'll find it in different websites, but I have found it for about 30 to $35. Let me open up the chat back here again. Okay. So <clears throat> wait, what is this? This is the wrong chat. Here we go. Here's the chat. TPD sucks. It's not that bad, M16. I mean, I was there. It, was, it wasn't it was that bad. Thank you, Chessy. Thanks for being here. Um, so now I'm confused which of these I should buy for my first ever device. This one or the Cascade. Oh, my gosh. Guess I should buy both to catch up to all of you advanced users. <laughs> LOL, Dave Satek. LOL. No, basically... This is an MTL device. The Cascade device that we did on the live earlier was a sub-ohm device. So if you want a lot of cloud production, a lot of flavor, um, a warmer vape, you're going to get that dense, warm chest feeling like a big, dense vape in clouds out of the Cascade kit. Out of the VapTO Spin It kit, here you go. It's like a mouth-to-lung draw. It's like a cigarette draw. However, it's a little more loose. It's not... I mean, it's tighter. I would say it's tighter than the Mi Pod. Let me just make sure I'm not lying to you. I would say this is a tighter mouth to lung draw than the Mi Pod is. The mouth, the Mi Pod is like a super restricted lung hit in my opinion. This is a really nice mouth to lung. However, there's one con with this for me. Okay, the one con for me is the coils. I don't know where you can buy the coils yet. I'm sure you can buy them at the same retailers that have the kit for sale, but it comes with two coils. They're both 1.8 ohms, so they're higher resistance, so they don't get super hot. 
they're pretty flavorful and good when you first have them okay both of these pods that i have are a couple weeks old uh i used one way more than the other this one has been less used but the flavor only lasts for about six days see i'm still getting flavor but i'm not getting the flavor like i got it's not a super flavorful vape like i got with the coil when it was brand new so the and the coil's not bad yet i mean i know when the coil is going bad but i would be inclined if i had more coils to go ahead and change it i mean it's still wicking good i'm still getting flavor but it's not as flavorful now I would like to see some different kinds of coils in these pods. That'd be pretty cool. Or uh, I don't really know how they could increase the flavor on these pods. But this, I'm getting decent flavor out of a used pod. The battery lasts forever. Okay. I love the whole stick it in my pocket thing. And it can't fire. If you touch these contacts with anything that's in your pocket, like change your keys or whatever, it's not going to do anything because it's completely separate from the battery. And it's protected. So... The battery contacts are down inside here. Woo, yay, yay, yay. You can do that too. That's kind of cool. The battery contacts are down inside here on top of the battery. And when you flip it like this and put it like this, there's nothing metal on this pod system on the top that can touch and the contacts are on the backside. So it's completely separated. So touching these contacts, you're not bridging anything. This is There's no power going through it. Totally cool. You flip it over and the contacts and everything, you can't touch it with anything there's nothing i mean even if you put it in your pocket like this as long as it's turned off it's fine so this is a really cool really cool it's got the the charging port on the bottom really cool little starter kit i like this starter kit a lot 30 bucks is cool i'd like to see some um better coils but the coils are decent if you're looking to start off and an mtl and you've got some hot with an mtl and you've got some high nick and you're a cigarette smoker and you're trying to make the transition really cool really cool kit right here i like this kit a lot it is not a pull to fire like <clears throat> the me pod or the sworn air um or the jewel even which i don't know where my jewel is right now you don't have to fire a button on those to use them you just put them in your mouth and pull it's got a pressure switch in it Ooh, that pod's bad um this is a f you push to fire so you can push it and you don't have to you know give yourself a, a head rush trying to pull through that tight that tight thing that tight airflow you know so just push the button nice little stealth vape it produces good vapor i mean you saw it Oh, did I mess up? You know what? Did I do something wrong here? Hold on. Is this, did I screw this pod up? It's acting weird now. Maybe this is the bad pod. Hold on. Let me flip the pods here. I think I got some juice in it or something. Can't hide when things go wrong live. Oh, you know what? I just killed the battery. <laughs> well, that's what I get for not charging it for a couple days. It's time to charge the battery. It's a good kit. I like it a lot. You guys, do you have any questions or anything? Let's see. Let's see if Dave Satek got his answer that he was looking for. Vaping dog hair. What are you guys talking about? Would you rank it as one of the best AIO starter kits of two, 2018? Frank freaking Wolf, I'm not qualified to give that um, award because it's probably not the best. No, like I said, the flavor's not fantastic. It's good flavor. Um, but I'm not qualified to do that because I haven't tried them all. Um, Let's see here. Pocket Lint doesn't vape too good either. Absolutely not, and that's what that's good for. All right, M16, you took it too far, buddy. Um, hey, James. All right, guys, so if there's no more questions, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to try this one more time. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I, uh, yeah, it's not. Let's plug it into the charger for half a second and see if that bumps it because I'd like to vape it one more time. 
You know what? It's on the charger right now, and uh, it's got pass-through charging. So let's see. Hey, look at that. Pass-through works. You guys stay safe. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day, weekend, start of your week. And remember, oh, FDA100K.com. Don't forget, put your comments in. Absolutely, got to do that. If you guys want to join the Vape Stew Crew Facebook group, it's Vape Stew Crew on Facebook. I'll go ahead and throw that down in the description as well. We like to hang out, do fun stuff. We have a Discord server that you can get access through through there. And Vape Stew on Friday nights live at 9 p.m. Central. You guys stay safe. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And remember... Vape on, friends.